Well, welcome to Jay's Halloween Horror Show. I'm your host. Anyway, y'all, we're back for another episode of Jay's Halloween Horror Show because for the month of October, we are going to fight back against the for Christmas decorations. I promised you, carry through this month with Halloween. I promise. So tonight, we are going to do a review of Paratram Ultimate Purge at Halloween Horror Night Universal Studios Hollywood. So we're kind of going to take it on another like haunted attraction vibe. I really, really, really liked the one last time. So I think that and not everybody can get to Florida, but or California, wherever, wherever this is, but at least we Pretend to travel together. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to it. Ultimate Purge, Halloween Horror Nights, Universal Studios. Let's go. Uh, so we haven't found Hill House, um, and so we're going to get on the terror tram. Uh. They're getting on the terror tram. So, like, I'm noticing that, I mean, I've been to Florida, or, you know, Disney World, and there's no lines. Like, I spent hours standing in lines. It was horrible. But they're just like, tra-la-la, right on through. I mean, cool for them. I feel like still that one year with the purge maze, like that was the right. scariest maze I've ever been in. So well, I don't know about a terror trip. It sounds scary. The purge maze, like you think out in the middle of the corn. Oh my god, can you imagine? Have you seen the purge movies? Yeah. For the terror tram, my name is Justin. Our driver's name is James. We're gonna see them ever again. <laughs> Now, as Don't I'm sure you're aware, tonight is Purge Night. That special time of year when all... At one time of year, Purge Night. Mm-hmm. Crime, including murder, is legal for 12 continuous hours. But you're lucky because you're being evacuated right now to our Purge-Free Zone. Wasn't that nice of our new founding father? What the hell is a Purge-Free Zone? There's no such thing as a purge free zone in the part. Okay, whatever. Sit down and watch it, Jen. Yes. So for the next 12 hours, you can celebrate our nation's great tradition and safety and comfort. I'm here to tell you more about tonight's festivities. I bet when you buy a ticket, you automatically sign a waiver too. Mm-hmm. Is our official party planner, Jill St. Stevens. Take it away, Jill. <laughs> My name is Jill St. Stevens, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Universal's first annual Purge Party! You know, Universal Studios has long been a proud supporter of the Purge and our- I bet they have. ...new founding fathers. Oh, I see some of you brought your children today. Oh my god. What? Like, they're encouraging bringing children. Um. Okay. Fabulous! We're going to enjoy tonight. We've got lots of food, games, arts and crafts, and patriotic sing-alongs play. What kind of food? What kind of arts and crafts? What the f- are we singing? Like, okay. For you. Sounds a lot better than being locked up in the house all night with mom and dad, doesn't it? Nope. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous, darling. <laughs> now, before we begin, a tour guide, can you give me your current location? Oh, yeah. We're Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> we're locked and loaded on our way to the drop-off. <laughs> 
fabulous. Very long way. Oh, and one more thing. I hope they slaughter each and every last one of you. Yo, is this like the news? Like, it's totally reminded me of. Uh, never mind. All right, shut up. She looks petrified. <laughs> They're not very nice. They were horrible. They're not very nice at all. I like the sound of a party. Yeah, we can hear you. You have to help us. You've got to get- So is this like an interactive, like, ride? You've got to do it now. Run. <laughs> you have to get us out of here. Let's slow down, slow down. She wants out of the rabbit hole. What's, what's going on? <laughs> Listen to me. That's all a lie. There is no purge It is all a lie, for real. It's all BS. All of it. So, they're killing everyone. You have to get us out of here. Who is? The Forever Purge. That's what they're calling themselves. They don't follow any rules. They don't listen to anyone. See, you give them an inch and they take a damn mile, man. One day we just wasn't good enough. That mm, selfish. Even our so confounding fathers. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say except what a party pooper. Come on, <laughs> can't believe that. I mean, it's Halloween. Who says that? Trick or treat and all that, but come on, you know it just takes one sour apple to ruin the fun for everyone. That's my like. Dipped in poison and laced with razor blades with these son of a. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna let one crybaby spoil our fun, are we? No way! And right now we're arriving at our. She didn't sound like a crybaby. She sounded like a lunatic. Like I hope they burn her every. I'm like what? Our exclusive backlot destination, where the purge party is ready to commence. Neither. Oh great! Look, look who it is! It's it's the party pooper. Yeah. Well, James, I guess we're gonna have to take her back up top. They got little glowy horn prop party favor things. That's so cute. <laughs> As for the rest of you, this is the end of line. Please exit the tram in an orderly fashion. Oh, and one more thing before we say goodbye. Parental discretion divides. This is not for children. Don't take your children here. Unlike what that very evil, mean lady said in the beginning. Purge ever after. Karen, slow down your roll. For real, for real. She's wearing a crown. Oh, I should have got my props. Yee yeah, yee! Car show, chop shop, what's going on here? I mean, they're pretty nice. I guess it's not a chop shop show. Maybe like a meetup, what? Is it cruises week? Yo, what's that Stephen King movie about the car? Car of the car, what is it? What is it? 
Christine. Christine, thank you very much. Christine, that's what this vibe is. <laughs> Rabbit got down the hole. Rabbit ears can like change their names to like purge and it'll be less scary. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Ever. Purge. F U R. Oh. Was that a protest sign for the purge? For real? <laughs> Y'all, that's fucked up. Universal Studios. Disney. Hmm. <laughs> Is that a blanket? <laughs> Uncle fucking Sam. Oh my god. It's Uncle Sam. Yo. Y'all have gone too far. For real. It's Uncle Sam at the purge. <laughs> Yo, that is creepy as hell. You hear the chanting? Oh my god. <laughs> just want to make sure that we get our steps for the day. <laughs> like and subscribe, guys. Ooh, they did a good job matching him. Definitely got the look. Looks like every other house in like the next town over. Literally. Like the two hundred year old freaking <laughs> Victorian house. Like of the original Norman Bates, like <laughs> That got me, for real. Y'all see me jump? Mm-hmm. Kind of getting used to it, so I'm thinking these little or little extra drama. <laughs> they kind of look like Swamp Thing. <laughs> So, so far, it's pretty cool. I like the whole, it's very expensive. You know what I'm saying? Like the setting and the props and the animatronics and the costumes and all that is very, very expensive. So it's, 
it's decent. I can't say that I would deem it better than, say, Field of Screams, because they had, like, they had it going on, if you remember, but this is cool, too. <laughs> Is he the dude that was a skateboarder from The Purge? Is that who that character is supposed to be? And they're like chasing one guy around town forever. <laughs> that was a... Isn't it scary though how like... Every other household in America probably owns one of those masks now because they were so popular. Like every Walmart, every Halloween store, everywhere it was selling them. Oh. <laughs> Is it a plane rush? Plane crash? I mean, like, you see how it's very expansive and it goes on and on and on, but personally, I don't think that it's any more aesthetically pleasing than your home your hometown haunted hayride like i don't know it's a lot of fuss about halloween horror nights but it's cool <laughs> so wouldn't the people that were on the plane probably most likely already be dead? I mean, whatever. Did the plane crash on a cattle ranch? What is going on right now? Like... That's a cowboy ninja. I wonder how many of your local road crew really dream about that on a daily basis. <laughs> Just give them a bottle of water next time it's on a really hot summer day and they're laying down the asphalt. Just saying, it might prevent the purge. <laughs> where did you go? <laughs> she goes, she ran around, dude. Give me where she go. I don't know how many purges we've survived at this point. Alright guys, so they're getting on the train, they're getting ready to go back to Universal Studios Hollywood headquarters, wherever that is. And like I said, I can't say that I think that this is more exciting or like visually stimulating or anything than the one we watched the other day, a Field of Screams. Um, I mean, it's cool, but, like, I, oh, I weigh basically by price. Yep, that's how I run my life. Um, the price of what I would assume to be horror nights at Hollywood Studios is probably way, 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 way higher than what your local... Screams or Haunted Hayride or Haunted House or 
whatever your town does, city, whatever. So you have to weigh out the options for yourself. I think they were both very cool. Um, I love the haunted attractions. So we, we try to go to one every year. So we're definitely going to pick one this year. And I hope you enjoyed the viewing of this attraction tonight. And this has been another episode of Jay's Hot Hollywood. Oh, my God. I'm so tired, y'all. Jay's Halloween Horror Show. Good night. I love you.